respect your opinion. We just may disagree with it. That's all. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Lane. Is there anybody else that wishes to comment on the resolution? Madam Chair, I just have a quick statement. As a mother of a college-age student, and I think about those poor college students that were hurt several weeks ago, I would gladly certify this resolution and take a stand on hate for everyone. So I just wanted to make that statement. Madam Chair, I believe the resolution did not go far enough. What it forgot was sexual preference. There's a lot of hate there. This needs to stop. We all have red blood. We all bleed red. This needs to stop. It's just to remind people that's all it is. Anybody else? Madam Chair, I just wanted to thank Representative Tlaib for coming out of her organization. She's probably one of the best people I know, and we go back quite a few years, and she's done an amazing job at leading. And I just wanted to just encourage her to continue on with this campaign, and I definitely support her 110% with this. If there's no further discussion, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Madam Chair, thank you. Councilman Garza, thank you, Rashida, for coming out and sharing everything with us. The next item that we have is the motion to approve the Taylor Fire Department to apply for the SAFER grant. I don't have the exact language. If Councilman Garza could please read it again. It's a motion to approve the Fire Department to apply for the 2015 staffing grant for fire and emergency response, also known as the SAFER grant. Motion by Councilwoman Crouch, supported by Councilman Bully. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor. I'm sorry. Oh. Yes, thank you. Reference to SAFER grant, Madam Chair, Council, and Mr. Mayor. This is a SAFER grant that will be going in, correct? Is this going to be passed on to the federal government? Madam Chair, this is just to authorize us to apply. Okay, what are we applying for? SAFER grant. How much? Madam Chair, those details have not been finalized. We have rough drafts here for Council tonight that we're going to issue, but the deadline is Friday. Do we know how many personnel we're asking for? At this point in time, the total department size at the end of the grant will be 36 plus 3. Will this be voted on by the Council before it goes forward? The grant? Yes. The application request, yes. Okay, so before that application goes in, it will be discussed in public for the total amount of money we're asking for? Madam Chair? The total number of personnel. Before accepting the grant, yes. What about when you send it in? We're asking for permission tonight. To send it in with what grant we're talking about? Madam Chair? Mr. Mayor? That's not part of the motion. Once it's accepted, then we'll bring it back to Council as a formal action to accept. Okay, so we'll see it one more time before you send it to the Governor? Madam Chair, no. Oh, so we won't know what you've applied for? Madam Chair, the elected officials will know, yes. Oh, but the citizens don't know. Madam Chair, once it becomes an application, it's a matter of public record. What happened to transparency? Madam Chair, the application is incomplete to the gentleman's concerns. That's what I'm trying to explain tonight. Now we've talked about this, I can get a copy of it. Did you vote on it? Madam Chair? Mr. Mayor? Let me see if I can say this slow and clear. Say it very slow. We are requesting authorization to apply tonight. Okay. Once it's submitted, it will be a matter of public record. Once it's approved by FEMA, it will come back to City Council for acceptance. But the Council will know what you are applying for as far as the number of personnel, correct? Madam Chair, I'm telling you right now, that total number will be 36 in suppression plus 3 in administration. And how many is that less than the first time we applied for the State Department? I don't know what that answer is. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. Yes. All opposed say no. Motion carries. Madam Chair, I'm going to ask that we approve the Taylor Fire Department to apply for the State Department. Thank you. 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 Th
Chair. The last item that I have on our mayor's communication is a, uh, a late addition, so I apologize, um, but we have a uh, board of review member that abruptly um, uh, resigned due to an injury, so uh, we had to fill this quickly as the review process begins on Monday. So this is a motion to approve the appointment of Patricia Ackerman to serve on the City of Taylor Board of Review to replace Kiro Shimoda, who resigned from the Board of Review. The appointment will expire on December 1st, 2017. Motion to approve. Support. Motion to approve by Councilman Garza, supported by Councilman Johnson. Any discussion? Madam Chair, is um, Jerry Markey here? Yeah, friend. Okay, Jerry. I'd like to invite Jerry up to just talk about kind of the process and, and um, the individual as well. Thank you, Mayor. Madam Chair, uh, City Council, Mayor Collins, thank you for allowing me to speak to you for a few minutes regarding Patricia Ackerman and the Board of Review and the procedure that we follow as assessors in the state of Michigan. There's a three member panel that here is tax appeals by residential taxpayers and commercial taxpayers yep. at the local level. Local meaning the City of Taylor level. There's a three-member panel purposely in case there is a tie vote between two members, the third member would uh, cast the uh, deciding vote. At the moment, I have two members that are actively serving Mr. Tom Long and Ms. Kelly Price. Without the appointment of a third member, uh, it's a disadvantage to the residents of Taylor. The reason I say that if there's a tie vote, the uh, ruling rules in favor of the assessing officer and not the taxpayer. So it's better to have a three-member uh, vote versus a two-member vote. Mrs. Ackerman, who I am recommending to Mayor Sollers uh, and City Council to be appointed, she was previously an assessor in the City of Taylor Assessment Office. I do not know her personally. I met her when I interviewed her couple days ago for the position. But she has served the city of Taylor in a variety of departments, the last one being uh, in the assessment office. Her expertise and knowledge on tax law and assessed values would be instrumental and very productive for the city of Taylor and the residents of Taylor also. I believe she's a good fit for my few other members that I have serving with me. And with Mayor Sollard's uh, recommendation, I would Thank you.